Tom here from Warren Systems, and I'm joined with Dave over at Huntress, and we're talking actively exploited exchange. This is bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely not good. It's suboptimal, right? Suboptimal. Exchange <laughs> is a uh, picky thing, which is what we were talking about before. You've got a long history of yeah. managing exchange servers and what it really takes to run one. And uh, to go a step further, when it breaks, it's the worst tool to break because uh, it can be so hard to fix and restoring from backups when more email has come in. It's just that's just an unpleasant this is easy to merge all right. the partial backups right no yeah yeah totally easy right you get your old base and then you roll in your your weeklies or your hourlies or whatever into your full and then and then what happened to all the mail that was coming in while the server was down right it's it's just simple it's real it's rebooting yeah. it'll be done <laughs> it's true but uh what this is about is there was an active exploit found a zero day essentially am yeah. i correct on this it's yeah absolutely in the wild, uh, we're going to be leaving a link to a Reddit post where a lot of the details are, but we wanted to get the word mm -hmm. out because um, sometimes people are like not aware that this is happening uh, until it's too late. And you don't really want to have to restore from backups because you don't know when it happened to you if you found this on the server. It, doing the forensics of when it got there is uh, not fun at all. So break down a little bit about the, how this exploit works. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Microsoft has posted four CVEs right now, and they're all require a variety of different things to get them working. But one of them um, is a vulnerability that doesn't require you you have credentials or anything like that. It's just abusing some stuff over HTTP. And if you do go look in any of the posts, there's going to be like four of the CVEs, like usually the first one on the list, because it's the, the first numbered one is going to be the one that is getting abused. Um, so what happens is the attackers are able to abuse that. They're able to send these arbitrary HTTP requests to that. And what we're seeing typically is they're creating web shells, right? So they're creating a, they're dropping these randomly named looking files in that accessible directory. It's kind of part of the, the INET pub directory where all your files are hosted. Um, and so, yeah, they're creating web shells and then they use those web shells to do other nefarious things, abuse the other CVEs um, or, or create like an, an admin account or, or remove or add people to groups, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it becomes the in to your network where there's lateral movement. And I think you'd said uh, so far from your insight, there's not anything, at the, especially at the time of when it's released, maybe by the time you watch this video, there's something out there, but none of the antiviruses or anything, there's not even a good web filtering for it. No one's seen this coming, so it kind of right. passes through, hence the zero day notice of it. So you're not safe. If you have this, you're good. No, the, if you've got the an exposed exchange server, you are at potential risk and you need to first patch and then look for yeah. uh, some of these web shells that are exploited in there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, getting patched is the key. Number one, Microsoft has released patches for all supported version of the exchange and even one that was technically not supported. They even released a patch for exchange 2010, uh, which was end of life, I think back in like October. Um, yeah. but this was this was kind of one of those like, hey, look, it's so bad. They're calling a defense in depth patch. Um, so they're even patching that exchange 2010. Um, so definitely go find those and update it and then start looking for those indicators of compromise, which uh, are not that hard to find, right? There's there's a lot of good information out there on, on what to look for. Yeah, and kind of related to this, uh, you know, just like I'll say an untested backup is wishful thinking, untested patches, even though it said it patched, I, I seen this yeah. as part of the Reddit discussion and there's a lookup to make sure the patch was applied, not just the number yeah. was incremented. So there's a little yeah, testing absolutely. you have to do after the patch, right? Yeah, absolutely. All that information is easily accessible, but sure, it's it's kind of like just with any kind of vulnerability you patch, you want to make sure that it did actually apply. We did see a lot of reports of folks running the patch, but like maybe not running it as an administrator context and then it not applying fully or correctly. So parts of it worked and like parts of it didn't. Um, we've even seen scenarios, some scenarios where people applied the patch, maybe not as admin or something. And um, it did some things, but like maybe it even broke others. Like we, we like OWA or Outlook Web Access uh, was having some trouble working and stuff if it didn't apply correctly. So definitely verify once you get it patched to make sure that it is doing all the things it's supposed to. Yeah, and uh, Kevin, and it's linked in the Reddit post, and I'll make sure I link it into links under this video. Uh, there's an Nmap script you can run to yep. verify if the patch actually took. So even though the, as I said, the number may have incremented, uh, this is a test you can run against your Exchange server to make sure that the vulnerability is actually being closed. Yeah, that was a really cool script that uh, Kevin put out there. Uh, we do it is linked in that Reddit thread. It, it, it's actually really, really handy. You can even see, you know, because it's you know open source and all that fancy. You can see all the different versions of Exchange. You'll see the version numbers that it's checking for and how it's doing that, uh, and it will report on those. So definitely a good script to have to help you snuff out those ones that may still be vulnerable in your environment. Yeah, and and for those of you that uh, don't have Exchange and probably thinking how much Exchange is out there, 
how much exchange is out there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot more than I expected. Uh, as we alluded to earlier, I, I spent a decent part of my career working on nothing but exchange. And I really thought that, um, you know, all of the the hosted options, right? Like the, the 365s of the world and maybe even some of the G suites and other ones. I thought that it kind of replaced most of your on prem mail servers. But as we were talking, there's a lot of industries or, or maybe jurisdictions or whatnot that are not able to utilize some of the cloud hosted stuff for a variety of reasons. So I found a, a far more than our environment than, you know, that, you know, our partners environments than I expected to. Um, and unfortunately, a large number of those, you know, were capable to be vulnerable just from a patching standpoint. So um, yeah, it was, it was kind of surprising. So uh, for those folks still out there uh, keeping the exchange dream alive, you know, definitely, <laughs> definitely check those, those patch statuses. Yeah. I right away reached out. I have a friend who's kind of an MSP for uh, government and law enforcement. Mm -hmm that's kind of their niche and uh, they yeah. run a ton of on-prem exchanges is common in that industry it's one of those things that not everyone's aware of everyone's like well isn't everything in the cloud no yeah, it's not no, it's, it's not quite there yet um so this yeah. is this has been interesting uh the nsa has tweeted this out i think i've yeah. seen I, i've seen it all over the place it is pretty serious we're just trying to get the word out that if you uh if you're watching this uh hopefully it's after you patch your exchange server maybe you yeah. pause at the beginning of the video and went out and patched and then verify patch plus verify uh make sure the whole step uh, anything else to the add or that all we got we'll just link to the reddit post and yeah no that's that's pretty much it the most the majority of the, i think all the patches were released yesterday so even if you're like oh i patched last week or whatever Whatever, this is like really, really zero day. So the patches yeah. are as it. So if you haven't patched, um, I think I tweeted earlier, I said, hey, if you didn't lose any sleep last night patching exchange servers, you probably should have. So, I mean, these are patches that were released yesterday. So yeah. it is very new. Make sure you get those, verify that they're all working, and then definitely check for all those signs of the indicators of compromise. Uh, and if you do find any of those web shells that are on there, um, you know, get those off the machine and then start kind of expanding further your search to see how, how deep that rabbit hole goes to make sure that, that the attackers weren't able to pivot and do other things. Yeah, and that just for clarity, the uh, patch is released on March 2nd, 2021, and today yep. is March 3rd. So yeah, they uh, get get patching. If you're watching this right now, get patching. If you're watching this a little while from now, hopefully you are completely patched. <laughs> hopefully so. So we'll, yeah. we'll leave you that. We'll leave you links down below on how to get this going, and thanks.